do you take scientific information from wikipedia as a reference do you check the authenticity of such online references if you don't then this video is for you hi i am dr biju raju and i'm a vitreo retinal surgeon practicing at dr nsg raju sai hospital in kochi india a few months ago i stumbled upon this mysterious bombs loop when i was going through the visual pathway this eponym was new to me and i was very sure that i haven't come across this either during my masters in ophthalmology or during my vitreo retinal fellowship an eponym is one for whom or which something is or believed to be named after so who is bom and what is the mystery in the visual pathway the axons of the retinal ganglion cells traveling through the optic nerve reach the chiasma in the optic chiasma the temporal fibers pass directly to the optic tract while the nasal fibers cross over or decussate to the opposite optic tract these fibers in the optic tract then travel to the first relay station in the thalamus the lateral geniculate body or the lateral geniculate nucleus or lgn fibers from the lateral geniculate nucleus the axons of the fourth order neurons in the visual pathway travel to the calcarine sulcus as the optic radiation the optic radiation has three bundles the anterior inferior bundle the central bundle and the posterior bundle or the posterior superior bundle the anterior bundle is eponymously known as mayer's loop after adolf mayer whose meticulous dissections of the temporal lobe paved the way for the discovery of these fibers according to his studies as well as recent studies the anterior inferior or the ventral bundle from the lateral geniculate nucleus travels anteriorly into the temporal lobe before forming a loop and running posteriorly to the occipital cortex the central bundle goes directly from the lateral geniculate nucleus to the calcarine sulcus the posterior bundle or the dorsal one travels superiorly and posteriorly traversing the parietal lobe to reach the visual cortex but literature doesn't point to the fact that the posterior bundle was eponymously named after bomb i searched online then i came upon an article and a video that cleared the mystery it all started when three radiologists got an email in regards to a potential error on the eponymous naming of the dorsal bundle of the optic radiation which has also been given the name bombs loop these doctors dr nipe dr bell and dr gaylord then launched an all out effort to get to the bottom of the mysterious bombs loop their first step was to look at all the available databases for bombs loop as well as mayer's loop there were enough scientific materials in literature right from the early 1900s on mayer's loop but to their surprise the references to bombs loop started appearing in literature after 2011 in textbooks and after 2012 in scientific journals since then 10 scientific articles mentioned bombs loop and also in six textbooks including the text we consider as the bible of surgical anatomy the grace surgical anatomy so now they turned their investigation to wikipedia where all of us look up anything and everything under the sun the article on optic radiation on wikipedia was started in 2004 the text also called bombs loop was added on 18th october 2009 by an anonymous user following the ip address from where this edit was made these doctors zeroed in on a medical school and from the list of medical students in that era 
found a name a bomb or andrew bomb when contacted via email he confirmed it was indeed them who inserted bombs loop as an eponym into the wikipedia and therefore a bomb or andrew bomb was a medical student and when he found that the posterior bundle was not eponymously named as in the anterior bundle which is called the mayes loop he inserted the text also called bombs loop against the posterior bundle of optic radiation the authors conclude their letter to the editor in surgical and radiological anatomy journal by adding quote though this addition was against wikipedia's verifiability policy the term persisted in the article and from there propagated into wider medical literature although this is perhaps a trivial footnote in the naming of anatomical structures which we note are often not named after the original discoverer or inventor given its origin and in line with the discouragement of eponyms in anatomy we believe the use of bombs loop as an eponym for the dorsal bundle of the optic radiation should also be discouraged close quote so this is a wake up call for all of us who rely on online references when we write up our studies or we plan to publish we should take the pains of reviewing those references and making sure those references are really authentic the clinical significance of the bundles of the optic radiation are due to the peculiar visual field effects that arise when these bundles are damaged especially the anterior inferior bundle and the posterior superior bundle damage to the anterior inferior bundle that traverses through the temporal lobe with the loop called the mayes loop causes a pi in the sky field effect or a superior quadrantinopia whereas the damage to the posterior superior bundle which traverses through the parietal lobe causes an inferior quadrantinopia or the pi in the floor visual field effect we should always be grateful to the amazing contributions of stalwarts like dr adolf meyer whose work in the early 1900s still baffled the modern neuroscientists even now with all the high tech imaging systems scientists are awestruck at how these complex fibers of the optic radiation hidden deep within the mysteries of the brain were accurately marked at a time where both technology as well as techniques were primitive but phony and misleading eponyms like bombs loop undermines the effort of great men and therefore should be considered a very serious offense thank you